the way you can tell the difference between the two xylem types. Here, the xylem. Now that we're looking at this in cross section, we can tell the two different types of phloem cells. So the large ones are the sieve tubes, the small ones in the corner are the companion cells. And then you have sclerenchyma on the edge, and you can see that overly thickened cell wall telling you they're dead, and all of those things that we had on that first lab test. You guys with me? More of the same, slightly more out of focus. Kosher? I don't like that. Now this is nice and fuzzy. <laughs> So here you are at the end of the test, thinking, okay, I'm bored looking through these microscopes. No. So which of the four is this? Only her one. You guys recognize it? This is a herbaceous dicot. Okay, how can you tell? Vascular bundles. Now, I know this is a little fuzzy. In case you're going, that's a little fuzzy. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy. But take, there's two general things here. You don't see any monkey faces, do you? Yeah. Vascular bundles are in a ring. And you have a defined, definitive tissue in the middle of the pit. So vascular bundles are in a ring. None of them look like monkey faces. You have a pit. Past that, uh, you can see a little bit of the epidermis. And this is really over fuzzy. That was the herbaceous dicot? This is herbaceous dicot. No, sure? Oh, sure. <coughs> so here's a little, little better picture. Now you're a little bit closer in magnification. But again, notice you don't have monkey faces. And so you generally have uh, this ring, pith in the middle, epidermis out here. In the vascular bundles, can you pick out the xylem and the phloem? The xylem is here, and the phloem are these objects in between, and then you have a little bit of sclerenchyma protecting each of the little bundles. And then, very weakly, you have sort of this line that runs through, and that's termed the paracycle. Well, that's not terribly obvious on a lot of these slides. So the things to really stick with are your tissue types, xylem, phloem, sclerenchyma. I might because it's something to keep track of in the dicot root because that's where you can really see it. It's this line. It's a, and you can also refer, there, there's multiple uses here. So in the stem, I guess I should say no, I'm not going to paracycle no. Let's just stick with tissues. Paracycle is something, I'm just hinting that there's a circular nature here. And you have a pith. Uh, it's more important in roots. That's where your lateral root emerges from. More of the same. Now, this is a nice, clear photo. You can see your tissue types. Yes? So you can see your xylem, your phloem. You can't really, the parasite is kind of weak here. Xylem, phloem, sclerenchyma. You see them all? So let's just run with tissues. Xylem, phloem, sclerenchyma. Is it sclerenchyma? It can. You see, you, it's basically the paracycle is like the edge of the, of the pith and the xylem. So the xylem is arranged circular, and then you have a defining edge. With the, with the scarlet and their sub parenchymal cells, then you have the, the phloem kind of smashed in between. But let's just focus on tissues. Okay. Kosher? So just tissues, let me take a look at the... Oh, huh. Herbaceous dicot stem, you guys looking at this? Mark out the term, calenchyma. That's my bad. 
Where is that? Where? Kalingama. The what? Kalingama, C O L L E N. Kalingama. Kalingama. No, let's get rid of that. Oh, on the third one, right? Yes, on the third one. Herbaceous dicot stem. God, I thought I edited this. Get rid of Kalinkama. Get rid of Why is vascular cambium in there? Get rid of that. <laughs> vascular cambium? Why is that in there? No, I didn't write this. I did edit this. But then now I have to go there. Okay, you guys with me? Yes. So we're on the third down. We're on herbaceous dicot on the review. Mark out Kalinkama. You don't care about that. Mark out vascular cambium. I didn't. Why is that there? Okay, that's a crazy All right. We having fun yet? Yes. Okay. More of the same. You bored with the herbaceous dicot yet? I like this. Those of you who are taking pictures, that's probably a good one to take a picture of. Which one? This one. It's just nice and clear. It's nice and clear and in focus, and you can probably get a good photo of that. Which one's this one? This is herbaceous dicot again. We have lots of repetition on these slides. Did I go too fast? You guys with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, now this one's not worth taking. That's just the same. Here you're up close and personal. You can see the xylem, you can see the phloem, you can see the sclerenchyma. Nice and kind of washed out, but this is actually, this looks like a black and white. Xylem and sclerenchyma, the phloem kind of sandwiched in between. Yes, no, maybe? Da, da, da. All right, now which one is, is this? Is this a herbaceous monocot, herbaceous dicot, woody dicot, woody in the sperm? Woody dicot. Woody dicot. How do you know it's not a gymnosperm? What are we missing here? <laughs> resin ducts. <laughs> You're missing resin ducts. Resin ducts are your tail. You saw them in leaves, you saw them in the stem. You can also see them in roots, but we didn't do gymnosperm roots. All right? Mm -hmm. So, all of this tissue is secondary xylem. Secondary xylem. Also known as rays. All of this is secondary xylem, also known as wood. So the larger xylem here. Summer springs. And then they get progressively smaller. Summer. And then what happened here? You got chili. It was the winter. And then you're back to spring. And then you're back to summer. And then the winter. And so how many years growth can you see? Yeah, one, two, and the third one's going on. One, two, three, four. You guys with me? Okay. So you can tell, you can tell season out. What's this? The primary core, that's the pit. This is the remnant of a, the primary tissue in the middle. So when you turned on those two lateral meristems, you started going this way. There's one more thing. What are these? Rays, Which way do they move water? Uh, up and down or side to side? What are they called? Xylem rays. Right, so remember, out here you have your two lateral meristems, you have your flow on. These things are living. The cells on the edge are living, so they need a little bit of water. That's all that's really going on here. So it's side to side or up and down? Side to side. Side to side, yeah. These. Primary xylem is all eliminated. There's a primary core up here. There's 
there's probably some primary